Hey, how's it going? Kenny here and welcome back to Non-League to Giants. And up in today's episode, we've got two massive league matches. Away to Chelsea first and then at home to Liverpool. So, I did say I was going to play lots of games after the last episode. I have played lots of games. We're here 14 matches in. And although we're sitting in 6th place, we have 3 games in hand. And if we win our 3 games in hand, we'll actually go top of the league. So, it's not quite as bad as it seems. And also, the last 7 or 8 games has been pretty incredible. I think we've won like 7 or 8 in a row now. We didn't start off the season too great, it has to be said. But... We really are coming into our element now. And as I said, although we're finishing, sitting in 6th place right now, if we win our three games in hand, we will leapfrog Man United and Sheffield United, who are joint top of the league now, by the way. But even if we do win our three games in hand, it's not like we'll be uh, leading the uh, top by a long way. As you can see, it's very, very tight in these early stages. Liverpool Man City have both got a game in hand as well. And if they win them, they could go top of the league, both of them. So... Yeah, it's a very tight start to the season. But as I said, it's been a difficult start to the season. And to think that after 17 matches played, we could be top of the league. It's quite incredible, the turnaround, to be honest. Anyway, talking of the recent games, as I said, there's been quite a lot of them. So I'm not going to go through every single one individually, of course. Um, we start off the season with two, oh, well, three wins, actually. We beat Everton at home 2-0. We then beat Chelsea in the AFC Super Cup 2-0 to win that competition two years on the spin, which is very nice. We then played Leeds away from home. Wasn't a very comfortable win, it has to be said, but we did beat them 1-0 away. Corridge on the score sheet there from a penalty. After that, though, our troubles started away from home, it has to be said. No win in the next five away matches in all competitions after beating Leeds away. So that is where the trouble has started in the season. Our first one was away to Tottenham. We drew 1-1. And although I slate them a lot of times in this series, our record against Tottenham isn't actually that great, to be honest, especially away from home as well. Not great at all. We actually haven't won our last five games against Tottenham. So, bit of a bogey team of ours now. Only beaten them five times out of 16. So, I guess they're not as bad as I first initially thought. After that was a shocking defeat away to Sheffield United. Um, they are joint top of the league at the moment. And they've definitely got a good team. Not the Sheffield United in real life. Definitely got a good team. And I'm very, very annoyed about this result, to be honest. Because I, I went into this game telling myself that Sheffield United have a very, very good attack. A very good attack. And I probably should do something about it. But being my stubborn self, I said, no, I'm sticking with the same tactic. And, uh, well, I was true all along. Because we conceded four goals in this game. And defensively, were absolutely shambolic. And those two strikers I was talking about, they both scored a brace in the game as well. Tom Hill and Louis Gittens. We did score three goals in the match. We also took a 1-0 lead in the game. But... Sheffield United on the counter-attack tore us to pieces in this game. And this is why you should always listen to yourself. I should listen to myself about this strong attack. I'm not saying we'd have won the game, but I'm pretty sure we would have conceded four goals. So that was disappointing. After that, though, was a sensational win. We beat Newcastle at home 4-0. A home, a home form is not a problem at all. I think we actually won every single home game this season. Yeah, we won every single home game this season, all competitions. So at home... Nothing wrong at all. A new stadium, Jimmy Dickinson Arena. It's already uh, taken off very, very well. But away from home, especially at the start of the season, terrible. After that, our first Champions League game of the season. We lost away to PSG 2-0, unfortunately. By far second best in the game. Kylian Mbappe is still kicking around. He scored against us in the 91st minute. 36 years of age. 204 caps for France. And 127 goals. And he's still playing for PSG. Will he be playing for PSG in 2035? I highly doubt it. But he scored against us. A nice 2-0 win for them. Not a very nice way to start off the Champions League. After that, another disappointing draw away from home. We drew away to Brighton 2-2, who are definitely not a very good team these days. So that was disappointing. Uh, then we had three wins in a row, which is very nice. We beat Nottingham Forest at home 3-1 in the Carabao Cup third round. We then beat Leicester at home 5-0, which was very nice. And after that was an absolutely sensational win. Out of nowhere, we beat Real Madrid away 4-0. In the second league phase game, 4 0 away from home, a brace from Gasco and Corich. And as I said, a complete out of nowhere. We were not good away from home up to this point. And uh, we went away to the arguably the biggest club in the world and we smashed them 4 0. I was a little bit nervous, I have to be honest. You know, we lost away to PSG 2 0. Then we faced Real Madrid away from home in the second league phase game. I was expecting two, uh, two losses out of two, to be honest. But thankfully, we beat Real Madrid 4 0 and it was a great win. After that, we played Man City away. Uh, in these two games, by the way, we went with a balanced mentality. Worked very well against Real Madrid. It worked to an extent away to Man City. We got a draw and a clean sheet, so that was nice. So a nice uh, nice draw there. 
Next three games are all wins as well. All wins at home. Home to QPR with 3-1. We then beat Herve Berlin at home 5-0 in the Champions League. And then we beat Fulham at home 2-0. After that, another a loss away from home. Tottenham away from home again. We played them in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Fortunately, we lost 1-0 out of that competition. But since then, we have won seven wins on the spin coming into this episode, which is very nice. We beat Arsenal away 3-1, which is an incredible result away from home. Has to be said. We went 1-0 down in this game as well, so that was very, very nice. You know, I say our away form has been terrible, but we did beat Real Madrid away 4-0, and we beat Arsenal away 3-1. So, I guess I'm talking a little bit of nonsense there. We then played PSV at home, beat them 7-1 very comfortably. We then played Man United at home, which was a massive, massive game. At this point, Man United have played 12 games, and they've won all 12 games. We're actually 12 points behind them at this point. Um, miraculous how uh, poor they've been since we beat them, by the way. Get to that in a second. But, yeah, at this point, we, we had one game in hand over Man United. Won seven, drew three, lost one. Man United won 12. We were 12 points behind them. Yes, we had a game in hand, but this game was already so important because, realistically, they are our biggest threats for the title. They've won the title the last two seasons on the spin, so... Very, very important game for us. We were at home, though, so it was quite a comfortable win, it has to be said. 2-0 win. They didn't create much. Bruno and Magnaghi on the score sheet there. After that, played Watford away. Beat them 4-1 very comfortably, which was very nice. We then played Benfica at home. Beat them 7-0 very comfortably. Um, the less we say about them, the better. Uh, I said before that the European teams, not in the big leagues, definitely very underrated in foot manager. Uh, doesn't think it helps the fact that I haven't got the leagues loaded, but still... Home to Benfica, even Man City, you know, they might struggle to beat them 7-0, to be honest. So, yeah, not great teams in the universe, Benfica and PSV. We then played Nottingham Forest away four, uh, and beat them 4-1 very comfortably. That was very nice. And just before the episode, well, I say just before the episode, I actually played this game at 5 a.m. this morning, just before I went to work. And uh, it was a lovely way to start the day, it has to be said. Beat them 5-0 very comfortably. Hatrick from Edson, Magnaghi and Gouda on the score sheet as well. So, it's gone really well in recent times. The Champions League as well. Didn't start off great. Lost away at PSG 2-0. But since then, we've won five on the spin, including beating Real Madrid and Barcelona with an aggregate score of 9-0. So that is very nice. So in terms of the Champions League as well, we're actually sitting top of the league phase right now. Um, even though we've lost the game, Man United have won all their games though. So they win their game in hand. They will leapfrog us. But other than that, we'll be second in the league phase. So started off quite terribly. I lost away to PSG. Real Madrid away on the horizon. But... Somehow, we are sitting top of the league phase right now, and we're looking to defend our crown. Uh, in terms of the squad, well, as you can see here by all the green ratings, it's been quite a good start to the season in terms of all competitions. We had an iffy period at the start of the season away from home, but seven wins on the spin now going really well. Koric has been the best player of the season so far. 18 goals in just 17 starts for him. And he's also got 13 goals in 13 in the Premier League, so that is very nice. Andre as well, he's uh, been quite disappointing the last couple of seasons, but in the Champions League especially, he's been really, really good. Six goals and just five starts for him, that's nice. Uh, Magnaghi started off the season a bit poor, but since then he's come to his element. 7.98 in the last five games and six goals and eight assists in all competitions. Bruno as well, he had a poor start to the season, but again, look at him in the last five games. 7.96, eight goals and seven assists for him. Adelson's been class. Gas goes up 10 goals in just six starts. Lopez is his consistent self. So, all in all, things are looking really, really good. As I said, at the start of the season, not too great this period here away from home. But since then, we have really flourished. And now we're ready for Chelsea away from home. Chelsea away from home first, then Liverpool at home. If we end this episode with two wins, then we are really, really going places. Well, unfortunately, we've got a tired squad after playing Barcelona there. But... Shouldn't make too many excuses. In terms of the team sheet, we've got Lopez in goal, Booth right back, Vafali left back, Maka and El Idrissi centre back. Then we've got Jarvis, Shimini, and Acosta in midfield, Magdaggi on the right, Edson on the left, and Corrich up front. So for today's game, I decided to switch back to a balanced mentality. I've also added a mid block in there as well. I've also got effectively two DMs, as you can see there, not a Segundo Volante on attack. I've actually used this quite often this season now. Uh, Jarvis is a ball midfielder on defend. And Shemini is defensive midfielder on support. Especially against teams I feel that have got quite a bit about them. Like Chelsea do of course. So that's why I'm being a little bit more pragmatic here. This is the uh, the style we won. Away to Real Madrid 4-0. We also beat Arsenal away 3-1 with this style. And drew away to Man City 0-0. So it's not like it's not yielding results as well. Hopefully it does. Also I've decided to uh, start implementing a high defensive line as well. The last few games. Um, which seems to be working quite well. But not away to teams like Chelsea. And also... 
even when I'm at home against bigger teams, such as Liverpool, for example, I'll probably set up a higher defensive line, but I like to add the drop-off more instruction in there as well. In terms of injuries, well, unfortunately, Nestor Rocha is out with an injury. He's out between five days to two weeks with a twisted ankle. He actually got injured in the first minute against Benfica, so that was annoying. Adelson as well was out injured. He's back to trading though in two days, so that is very nice. So seven wins on the spin. Can we make it eight here? Well, let's find out. Before we get started with this first game though, guys, please remember that if you do like this video, hit that like button for me. It's very important for the video's success. And also, if you're new around here and you want to see more from me, do hit that subscribe button as well. It really helped me out and it much appreciated. So let's get started then away to Chelsea. This should be the more tricky tie, uh, tricky game sorry, of the episode. Although Chelsea is sitting below us in the league and Liverpool is sitting above us in the league. At home, it's just pretty much a fortress. I, I back us to beat any team at home, to be honest with you. Away from home, though, it's a little bit of a different story. Although, coming into this game, uh, this game, we have won the last three away games. So, hopefully, that gives us confidence here. Although, two minutes in, we're already on the back foot here. Won the ball back, though. Here's Edson. Got a hat-trick against Barcelona. He actually missed a penalty for his hat-trick as well. So, uh, it was uh, very nice. He ended up getting his hat-trick in the end anyway. So, he should have scored four goals, really, but... Hattrick will do. Hattrick will do against Barcelona for Edson. Not a great start to this match. Although only 10 minutes in, so I shouldn't really be moaning too much. Not a single shot on target to talk of, though, for either team. We're dominating possession, which is quite nice. But, yeah, not much to talk about in this game, is there? That we've got a highlight now. James with a throw in. He's still playing. Reese James. Chelsea legend. Here's Shemini. Been a great signing, Shemini. He really does uh, turn up in some games. He turned up against Real Madrid, against his former team. Putting some great performances, he has. Anyway, here's Magnaghi. Brilliant player as well. Anyway, I can talk about the whole team. Booth as well, so consistent this season. But anyway, here is Magnaghi. Loses out to Zalewski, though. Now, here's Asparisi, a very, very good striker. I'm worried about him today. He's also a very good player as well, Itrak. He gives the ball away to Edson, though. Now, here's Jarvis. Do we have a chance to counter him here? Not if we don't move the ball forward, we don't. Now, Edson's giving the ball away. It's a little bit all over the place at the moment. Here's Matisse Tell. Back to Zalewski. Back to Tell. I don't like long highlights. I don't like long highlights. Long highlights scream goal. They always scream goal. And we're 1-0 down in the game. This is unfamiliar territory in recent times, it has to be said. Seven wins on the spin. Doing really, really well. Haven't started off this game too well, though, have we? 1-0 down already, unfortunately. Well, you know what? I haven't had a single shot on target in the game, so I'm, I'm changing things back up to our normal style. Have to take a risk here. Yeah, I've gone back to my normal style. Gone back to positive mentality. I've also added the defensive line and pressed higher, but I'm still being a little bit wary. I've added the drop-off more instruction in there to help with their, uh, well, try and help with their striker, but have to try and go, things for, go for things now. Not a single shot on target in the first half an hour. 1-0 down. Have to make a change here, although since making the change, Chelsea are getting even better in the game. This has been a terrible first half. Out of character for us right now, it has to be said. Awful. Oh, well, I was about to say awful first half. It's not over yet. We've got a free kick opportunity. It hits the bar, though. But Fally should clear it. And that should be, uh, yeah, it's half time now. Yeah, not a great first half, is it? Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. You know what? The water bowl is needed after that. It's needed after that. Shocking first half of football. Let's see how the first 15 minutes are. I might change to a Segundo Volante soon. Fally's having a good game with 7.3 there, but... Other than that, there's not much to talk about here. Another free kick chance for Chelsea. Bit closer this time as well. They hit the bar from the first one. They hit the bar from the second one as well. The same bloke, Matisse Tell. This is terrible. What is going on, boys? What is going on here? This is awful. Absolutely awful. You know what? Shemini can come off. We will bring on... You know, I'll bring on Arda Gula for him. Put Acosta there as a Scondo Volante on attack. We're not creating anything at all in the game, so you know what? Go back to I'm going to standard passing, this slightly shorter passing, shall we say? Uh, get roll it out of off as well. You know what? Let's get drop off more as well. Off, you know, nothing's happening for us in the game. Two wing backs on support as well. Push them forward a little bit more. Can I make any changes here? Well, look at the state of the forward line today. No wonder we so poor. Magnaghi singing his praises before the game. Six point three from him. Shocking. Edson as well. Terrible. Take Edson off. We we'll bring on Bruno. Koric is not leading the line particularly very well, but he has been best player of the season. So, you know, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. But we need to start seeing something in the game because this has been awful so far. Awful. Have we, ever, have we even seen a highlight for us yet? I don't think we have. Well, we're not creating anything at all, are we? Not creating anything at all. This is shocking. Really, really shocking. 
Coric has been terrible today, actually. So get him off. Let's bring on Gasco. Who else can we bring on here? Acosta's been terrible as well. Let's bring on Grana for him. Actually, you know what? Going to even a little bit more bold, actually. I'm going to take Acosta off. I'm going to bring on Andre. I said anything good recently. Let's put Andre in there. Let's go with a 4 1 4 1. Um, let's put Gula on attack. Let's keep Andre on support. Let's get play out of defense off. Let's go wide. You know, let's, let's go attacking. Let's go. We're not creating anything in the game with positive, so let's go attacking as well. Um, let's put him as a defensive midfielder on support as well. You know, that'll do. That'll do. Actually, you know what? Change my mind again. I'm going with a front three. I'm putting Gula up front with Gasco. All right, there you go. There you go. A 4 1 3 2 to end the game here. Can we create some chances in the game, please? I don't care if we concede another goal. I just want to see us try and create something in the game. It's been absolutely filth so far. Absolute filth. We're finally gaining some momentum in the game, but is it too little too late? Well, if we get something in this highlight, it won't be too little too late. Well, try to say his name. Mula Husajinovic. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, Asparisi gives the ball away there. Lopez kicks it long. Can we create something here? Can we create... Mag look at Gasco. Why on earth did you not look at Gasco before that? What on earth are you doing, Magnaggy? I know you're an elite footballer, but sometimes... Some poor decisions from him. Still on the highlight, though. But we give the ball away. Of course we do. Of course we give the ball away. Well, if it goes 2-0, it's game over, isn't it? Game over. Game over. Game over. Shocking. Absolutely shocking start to the episode. As I said, out of character this. Really out of character this. We've been absolutely fantastic in recent times. But here we've been absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Well, let's go for it. Let's go very attacking now. It doesn't really matter what happens from this point. I doubt we're going to score two goals in the last four minutes. But what a shocking performance. I don't... Well, I do mind, obviously. But if we lost 2-0 to Chelsea, we actually created something in the game then it wouldn't be as bad. But the fact that we haven't created a single thing in the game, just awful, awful. Awful, awful performance. Now we definitely need to make sure we beat Liverpool. That means, you know, it's one of our games in hand. We won't go top of the league now. We win our two games in hand. Still be very close to top of the league, though. Yeah, really not happy with this performance. Really, really terrible from us this, unfortunately. Back in the highlight immediately there. Literally five seconds after. I mean, there's still time to score two goals. It's still possible. Still very possible. But from what I've seen in the game so far, it just seems very, very unlikely. And it could be three. He's offside, isn't he, surely? What is Lopez doing? Is he your mate, Lopez? Is he your best mate? Is he not offside? Doesn't look like he's offside. I'm sure he's offside there. Well, he must be friends with Lopez because um, there's no other explanation for that for Lopez. No other I mean, he is offside. He is onside, isn't he? Yeah, no, no explanation of that from Lopez. He didn't even die for the ball. He just, he just stands there and just tries to do a dance with him. No, don't proceed with the tactical changes because there's no need is there. It could get worse. It could get worse. This is well. I brought you back for the the correct game, didn't I? Worst performance of the season. Wow, shocking, absolutely shocking. Although we conceded three goals, to be honest, I blame our attack for this performance because they have been absolutely terrible, terrible today. Awful, all of them. What's happened here? Get this game over with. Shocking. You know, I've seen enough. Let's go to only comment. I don't want to see any more. I don't want to see any more. Get off. Get off. Get off. Didn't even see that last point in this highlight, did we? What a shocking start to the game. To the episode, shall I say. Mag Nagy, what are you doing, pal? Look how pathetic these ratings are. Mag Nagy is getting a fine. Eladris is getting a fine. Lopez is getting a fine as well. So is Coric because he was terrible. It's just a shocking way to start. The I know we can lose games, especially away to Chelsea, but the manner of what we lost in here today is just embarrassing. Embarrassing. Anyway, let's hope the next game brings more, brings more fortune for us because this was absolutely terrible. Liverpool at home, coming up next. Well, what a shocking way to start the episode. Well, hopefully we can make up for it here and beat Liverpool at home. They're sitting third in the league currently, having a good season so far, but we have won every single home game so far. We've been, won every single game in the Jimmy Dickinson Arena, which is very, very nice, and I'm expecting a win here today. It's even more important now, after we lost away to Chelsea 3-0. We're still sitting sixth in the league, but if we win this game in hand, our first game in hand, we will leapfrog Newcastle. 
go up to fifth in the league, and then we'll also be only two points behind Liverpool with another game in hand as well. So it's very, very important that we do win this game. Shocking away loss, uh, shocking away loss to Chelsea there, but hopefully we can beat Liverpool at home very comfortably. In terms of the team sheet, quite a few changes to the team, it has to be said. Uh, a very tired squad right now. The, the squad was very tired away to Chelsea there, but no excuses for that performance, that is for sure. Uh, made a few changes. Mohamed comes in at centre-back for El Idrissi. Chino comes in for the Valley at left-back. Adelson's back on the bench, just back from injury, but not quite fully fit. Also, Grana comes in for Jarvis. Uh, not playing with a ball midfielder today, which is definitely a risk. I've not changed Grana to Volante on attack, though, only on support. Uh, Bruno comes in on the right for Magnaki. Magnaki is a very important player for us. He was terrible there against Chelsea. And also, he's one of the tired players in the squad. One of the most tired players in the squad, shall I say. Also, I tried to give Magnaki a fine there after that uh, Chelsea defeat. It gave lots of players fines. I couldn't find Magnaki, so I decided to warn him for his recent game. He got a 6.1. I told him wasn't good enough. But apparently, according to Giovanni himself... He had a good game, apparently, with a 6.1 there. So he's not very happy now, but he needs to get a grip because if he thinks that's good, then I don't know what planet he's living on, to be honest. Uh, Gula also comes in for Acosta. So quite a few changes to the team, but that is the, uh, the good thing about us these days. We have a very, very good squad depth, and hopefully we can start off here with a win at home to Liverpool. The manager of Liverpool these days, by the way, is Eric Ten Hag. Will that ever happen? The Man United manager going to manage Liverpool in the future? I guess it is possible, but a bit bizarre, isn't it? A bit bizarre. Also reverted back to the, uh, the normal tactic on positive. Also added the high defensive line and high press in there as well. But as I said, I do like to use a drop-off more in there, especially against the good team. So I've added that instruction here today as well. A bit nervous about, um, you know, no ball midfielder in there. But we shall see how we get along. They've got two very good midfielders as well. Pedri, of course, and Raphael is one of the best regens on the game. Not a great start to the game again, it has to be said. Only seven minutes in, but... I'm not liking that match momentum there, that red match momentum. Come on, boys. Where are you in this episode? Where are you? What's going on? It disappeared. Ah, I just I just realised. We haven't seen any highlights yet because I've only got only commentary on. What a donut. Obviously, end of the game against Chelsea, their only commentary. Not saying there would have been a highlight anyway, but there might have been. Wow. What is happening here, boys? What is going on with this episode? What is going on with this episode? Terrible so far. What's, what's happening? Out of, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. We want every single home game so far this season. What are we doing here? We haven't seen a chance for us in the episode, have we? We haven't seen a chance for us. This is ridiculous. Maka, what are you doing, mate? Are you, are you holding their striker? What are you doing? You know what? That never would have happened if Maka would actually... Work. What is going on in this episode, by the way? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? This has been, what is Maka doing there? What is Maka doing there? How's Elliot score from there, by the way? Shocking. Oh, my goodness sake. What a shocking start. My God. You know what? Get rid of that drop-off more. Get off. You know what? You go on attack as well. What is happening here? What a shocking, shocking episode so far. Terrible. Look at this. Look at staying this momentum. One shot on target. We're still yet to see a chance for us in this episode. What is happening? Oh, for goodness sake. Really? Get a grip, you bunch of donuts. What on earth are you doing? Corridge, what has happened to you, pal? What has happened to you, pal? You know, I'm going slightly short of passing again. Go wide as well. Get roll it out off. What a shocking, shocking start. Wing back on support as well. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. As I said, we've played a game and a half. We are yet to see a chance for us in the episode. Will it ever happen? Are my players alive? Have they all passed away? What is going on? No one knows. I don't know. Oh, is, is it a chance? Is it actually a chance? Oh my word, it's a goal. It's actually a chance and a goal. Are you sure? Am I seeing things? Neo Macker, he's made up for his mistake for their first goal. Got it back to level playing field at least. I'm not changing the tactic either because we need to start creating chances. I don't care. We need to start creating chances. Go a little bit risky here at home to a very, very good Liverpool team, it has to be said. Very good team. 
Andy Booth, have a word with yourself. What on earth are you doing there? Luckily that they gave the ball away very cheaply. Because what is Booth doing? Shocking. Here's Corich, the missing man. Nice to see you, Corich. You do exist. It's Bruno. Corich! Oh. Got to be excited there. See what it is. Edson. Grana. Shamini. Shamini shoots. The keeper catches it quite comfortably there. Well, at least we're starting to finally see something for us in the game. In the episode, shall I say. Booth is absolutely shattered. Let's take him off. Bring Fafali on for him. Um, you know what? Chino can come off for Adele since Corich. Get off. The clear off, Corich. Just clear off, man. Clear off. You know what? Magnaghi can come on for Corich. Bruno will go up front. Don't know what's happened to Corich in these two games. I really don't. Hopefully, uh, he comes back very soon, but he's been awful. 6.3 and a 6.3. Not good enough, is it? Well, we're finally starting to uh, get some sort of momentum in these both games. And at the moment, we look more likely to get the winner than Liverpool. And Bruno came very close there, didn't he? Wow, it's a highlight fest in the second half here. Highlight fest. Here's Pelopidas. Been at Liverpool for a long time now, this Pelopidas. Here's Almeida to Protic. Here's Pedri. Been at Liverpool a long time as well. Oh, dear. Here come Liverpool. Will the 100% record at home be over? Looks like it right now, doesn't it? Don't concede again, please. At least get a draw out of the episode, for goodness sake. This would be disastrous if we lost both these games in the episode. Disastrous. What's going on with this highlight, by the way? Is anyone going to press them or not? Are they just going to pass for the entire team? What is going on, boys? Long highlights always mean goal. It's just a guarantee. You play for manager for longer than a day, you'll realise that a long highlight means goal. What a useless bunch of planks, honestly. What a useless bunch of planks. Awful. Absolutely awful. Well, going to attack in again. Um, Grana, get off the pitch, mate. See you later. Bring Gasco on. He can go up front as well. I am not impressed. I am really not impressed. Such a pathetic episode for us, this. Absolutely pathetic. Pathetic. All right, gone attack in. Put a much higher defensive line in there as well. 20 minutes to go. They've had two shots on target in the match, by the way. Well, that was an own goal. So it doesn't count as an on-target shot anyway, does it? Need to get at least a draw out of this game. At least a draw. That's a bare minimum. Can't lose this game. Can't lose it. Can't afford to lose this game at all. Terrible. Terrible. Even if we end up winning this game, I'm still not going to be happy. I highly doubt it, though, the way this episode's gone for us. We're still going to create a chance here. It's Gula. To Shamini. Why are you shooting from... I thought that was it. I thought... Why did that flash up at the same time the shot went then? For goodness sake. I thought that was a memorable goal, but yeah. My point stands. Why are you shooting from there? Because it didn't go in, did it? 14 minutes to go. 14 minutes to save something from this episode because it's been absolutely disastrous so far, isn't it? And this could be over now. Oh. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. What is that bloke doing? What is that? What has happened to him? Oh, what is he doing? What on earth is he doing? What on earth is he doing? What on earth are you doing? Wow. Well, what great two games I've brought you back for, innit? What great two games this is. Wow. Oh, my word. Absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. <sighs> Can't believe it. I'll bring on a Costa for Gula as well, but... Wow. Wow. Lopez again. Look at the state of him. Look at the state of him. 6.1 and 6.2. Look at the state of him. Even though I've got very attacking, the players don't seem to know. Oh, my word. What, oh, what have I just witnessed? What have I just witnessed? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Wow. A 3-0 loss away to Chelsea. 
and a 3-1 home defeat to Liverpool. You know, individuals, I'm talking to you, mate, because you are useless in this episode. Absolutely useless. I can't believe what's just, I can't believe what's just happened. Oh, my word. Wow. Okay, so if we win our other game in hand now, we will be five points off Liverpool off the top. So that's lovely, isn't it? This could be the worst episode in uh, non-league Giants today, to be honest, because seven wins on the spin, including beating Arsenal away 3-1, beating Man United in there, we hit five past Barcelona just before this game. No, we go play Chelsea away, get battered 3-0, don't create a single thing in the game at all. Not a single highlight for us in that game. Hodes Liverpool 3-1, one highlight for us in that game, or two maybe. Uh, Maka with the goal, and then just, what's happened? What's happened in this episode? What's happened? Oh, I'm so fuming right now, it's ridiculous. I can't believe what's happened here. Can't believe what's happened here. Wow. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. Well, after that, we need to win our next eight league games in a row. That's the only way to salvage anything from it, to be honest. That's the only way I'll be feel some sort of satisfaction. Home to Wolves, got to beat them. Away to Everton, got to beat them. Aston Villa at home, got to beat them. Leicester away, got to beat them. You, you know where I'm getting with this. You know, Man City at home as well, got to beat them. Got to beat all these teams in a row here before we play another, um, another competition. We have to win all those games to make up for this shocking... Shocking episode. Look at this. I'm flabbergasted. I really am flabbergasted. Some of you might be confused here. Just like Chelsea and Liverpool. But we are favourites for the league title this season. We are also the Champions League holders right now. We cannot afford to have games like this. And it's not just the defeats. It's the manner of the defeats. We were absolutely shocking in both these games. Absolutely shocking. So yeah, as you can tell from my voice, I am absolutely fuming right now. This is what Foot Manager does to me, by the way. It's more than just a game. It's more than just a game. Obviously, I'm going to find some sort of humour in it because obviously it's not that important in terms of life, is it really? But you want to do well in your games, don't you? You want to do well in your games. And uh, we have not done well in our game here. Not at all. Just two shocking defeats out of the ordinary as well, as you can see there. We haven't lost a game in the league since we lost away to Sheffield United 4-3. Um... Anyway, what can you do? It's happened now. It's happened now to shocking defeat, especially that second one as well. I can't take that. Home, we have won every single game at home this season. And then we put a performance like that against Liverpool. Absolutely terrible. I'm expecting a much better performance at home to Wolves. I'm expecting a comfortable win as well to make up for these two shocking... We can't make up for it, that's for sure, because it's six points down the drain, isn't it? But obviously, that's not the season over. Long way to go in the season yet, but that is not a good sign for us at all. And um, as I said, the only way... That I'll feel some sort of satisfaction is if we win our next eight league games in a row. That is what I expect. That is what I expect from these next eight league games. Four of them at home. Well, five of them at home, actually. Three away from home against Everton at 18th. Leicester are at 13th. And QPR are at 10th. There are no excuses. Eight wins in a row are needed. Anyway, guys, in terms of the next episode, I'm going to play lots of games again. And uh, I'm looking to bring you back for the Champions League first knockout round, depending on who we get. If not, I think I'll bring you back for the Champions League quarterfinal if we get there, of course. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we retain our crown, but not looking good for us right now. Not looking good for us at all. Six goals conceded in the episode and only one goal scored. That is clearly nowhere near good enough. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. Not been a great one for us, but please remember that if you do like the video, hit that like button for me. And also, if you're new around here, do hit that subscribe button as well. It'd really help me out. Adding much appreciated. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.